All right, you guys, so let's do a quick reading. I'm just going to pull some cards really quick. I was going to do the traditional, but let's shuffle these cards. And let's see what the universe wants us to know. What should we know? What should we expect? Yeah. Let's do it one more time. Because it doesn't want to shuffle. Which means that... A couple reasons why. But let's see what the universe wants us to know. And we want to know what should we know in the present, in the now, right? What should we know in the now? What's something the collective should know in the now? So let's see. Is it too late to apologize and butterfly? So during your transition into a butterfly, right? Somebody wants to know, can they come in and apologize? Is it too late to have a conversation with you and apologize? They said they lied since the beginning. So there was lies since the beginning, okay? And they want to know if they can come in and finally be honest from the beginning. Okay. Dang, that's a lot of lies. You got to be honest. That's a lot of truth you need to tell. That means if you lie from the beginning, damn, you know how much truth there is, right? Because the beginning doesn't seem like it was yesterday. This, you've known this person for quite some time, so... It's definitely, um, it's definitely not the, the first time. Truth Hurts by Lizzo. Why men great till they gotta be great, right? Okay. Baby, I got your money, don't you worry. Say hey. Baby, I got your money. So... Somebody's going to offer you money or some type of monetary, some type of monetary value when they come with this apology, okay? And when they come to tell you the truth, they're going to have something in monetary value for you, okay? But what stands out to me is they're going to come during your transformation. So as you come in from this, this going into this beautiful butterfly, this person then wants to come in. And then they want to offer something and all the times to offer they're gonna wait until you're ready to transition to beautiful butterfly okay so research gmos gmos is gen genetically modified organisms okay so that means cloning things that are duplicated okay this person doesn't know how to how to love he's just being a clone he's just doing what he thinks that everybody else do because if he's a clone and he's not trying to love you in, in his own unique special way he's just trying to do what everybody else is doing so that's why he doesn't know how to love because he's following trends instead of following his heart everybody thinks we good so everybody always is under the impression that this person's good he's financially stable he's got his thing going on he takes care of all his shit himself. He's this macho male person, okay? Or same for this woman. They think that she is taking care of her business. They think that she just has all the money and the finances and this and that, but it's not the case, okay? They're pretending, okay? So it's not the case with these individuals. They're pretending to be something they're not. They're pretending their situation is something that it is not, okay? Because if, if you need research GMOs, then somebody's being a clone, and a clown right so um and they're pretending that it's they're like the joneses and everything's great and they're happy and it's that's not what it is they're fooling themselves but the true authentic people know when somebody is happy and somebody's faking it for the jones okay we find better than that we will find better than that. So whoever's pretending, you'll find better than that pretender. You'll find better than that clone clown. You'll find better than somebody who's just trying to fit in. Like, you a grown-ass man. You trying to fit in? What are you, 12? What are you, in high school? What are you, still in middle school? You trying to fit in? Like, are, is people still trying to fit in nowadays? 
if you guys don't realize yet you are uniquely special made beautifully the way you are how you are however that is with the ideas that you have it is specifically you're that person nobody can be you right but if you're trying to be everybody else then you're not even being you you're being everybody else so we need to be ourselves and true to ourselves because that's what makes us beautiful is when we are authentic and in our true form and our true being in, in, in this vessel. Do you guys get what I'm saying? But you have to be true to yourself. Don't pretend to be somebody that you're not and then get mad when people aren't accepting you. Well, first off, you're pretending. So nobody, why should somebody accept somebody who's pretending? Do you get what I'm saying? Like you guys, people have to really break down why they choose to go with crowds do they do it for self-gratification they do they do it because it makes them feel good or does it make everybody else feel good i don't understand it um because i appreciate everybody's differences and their uniqueness and who they are i appreciate it um because that's what makes them beautiful and who they are but some people want to be clowns and they want to be clones and they want to be like everybody else okay but you will find better than that. So you will find somebody who's not a clown. You will find somebody who's not a clone. You will find somebody who stands in the truth and, and who is uniquely who they are, okay? Defeat the darkness by succeeding. So while they try to pretend to be something that they're not, you continue to be used, continue to be great, continue to be uniquely yourself and you beautify that you you upgrade that you focus on being the best uniquely self that you can be and not try to pretend to be something you're not because those people are pretending they need a lot of healing that's all that says to me when somebody pretends like they're in middle school still and we're all grown ass adults it tells me that they need to heal they need to fit in they need to feel loved they need to feel appreciated even if it's in a way where they're not even being their true authentic self that's what that tells me okay but you have to defeat the darkness just by being you and just by being who you are because that's what they're mad they're mad that you can be your true self and people still accept you just for being you and they don't feel accepted being themselves do you guys get what i'm saying they don't feel comfortable in their own shoes so they want the authentic people not to feel comfortable being them their true self and their true form because they can't find their true self because they're masking it by pretending to do, to be somebody else in front of different people. Do you guys get what I'm saying? Because they have different faces because they don't know how to be true to themselves. So they're different faces with different people. Strength. Okay. This requires, for the people who's being unique and being themselves, it's not easy to be yourself. And I know people say it should be easy just get up and just be you. Well, yes, that's what we do right however we have to have strength to stand alone to stand from the crowd to stand by ourselves because that's what's wrong with the the people in the crowds they can't stand alone they can't be unique they can't be themselves they struggle with that so we as we have to continue to be ourselves and be be strong in that be confident in that okay i have people say all kind of stuff oh she's a linebacker oh her back oh this oh that oh this not that i have to explain anything but i was in a car accident so like not that i have to explain why i prefer to sit and stand a certain way but it requires strength to get through a car accident when i got through it pregnant and all that requires strength and it requires strength for me to still get on those videos and be like okay and so uh, i can reveal myself and my back fat and love my backpack. Thank you very much. Right? Strength. So you have to not only stand alone, but be confident in standing alone. So what? Wait, I'm sorry. The people in the crowd got something to say. The people who's following behind somebody else, so you can't even see their backpack. Because they following behind somebody else. And then somebody following behind them. So you can't even see they back front. Or they front. Or they front low. Hell, you can't see shit because they being a clown and they having a mask on. Now, uh, so people rather, you know, be genetically modified, be like society instead of stand alone and show strength, back fat or whatever they want to say, linebacker or whatever. 
That's how I feel about that. Because um, I'm still going to continue to do whatever I'm going to do, back fat and all. But let's turn, let everybody turn around. Let's see your, your fat. <laughs> like, you're like, come on. Like, seriously, like, you can't. And I never could understand that. People always want. And this is a this is what I see when I see, when you see gen, genetically modified people will look in the mirror and judge somebody else but won't look at themselves. Look at you, look at yourself, ma'ams. Don't come like don't come from another person and not look at you and look at the reflection in the mirror. Because if you look, focus on the reflection in the mirror and you focus on your own damn flaws, you ain't gonna be picking on nobody else's flaws because you're too busy looking at your own self and looking like how can I improve instead of talking about another human being. I'm just saying. So don't talk about somebody, but don't look at yourself. Because if you're looking at my back fat, I can guarantee you, you be looking in the mirror and secure about yourself. When I wake up and I put my shirt on, I don't give a fuck about my back fat. Just saying. I don't care about it. They care more about it than I do because I don't see it as a flaw. I see it as, damn, I put a tight shirt on that day and I just so happen that, you know, I don't see it as, oh my goodness. My body type is not what society standards say. The fuck says society standards can't I can't handle back fat. I'm sorry. Like just because somebody else is ashamed of their back fat, don't mean I'm ashamed of my back fat. Okay? I like my weight. But the only reason why I'm explaining that to y'all now because stand in confidence, stand in strength. Who gives a fuck? Because the same person who's in the crowd pointing fingers, they're in the crowd pointing the fingers. Let them stand alone and point the fingers. I bet you they, they ain't brave enough to put that finger up. Because they know that they have all these flaws as they stand alone. So just have strength in it all. Meditate. Go within if you need to. If you don't feel the confidence, you don't feel yourself, if you feel like people are judging, if you feel any type of way any day, just go within and meditate. Because they have personal problems. That's their personal problem. That ain't my problem because I told you I like my backpack. Now, could it improve? Sure. Am I going to force it to improve? No. But financial gain. So why they looking at, like, yeah, focus on the quaint and the herbs and the eating and the cleansing, okay? Focus on that while they focus on the, your, behind you. They focus on your back. They focus on what's behind you. I'm going forward. I'm looking forward. So you looking at my back, that means you ain't, listen, you ain't even on the same level if you looking at my back. Because you looking back there, I'm looking over here. And you, you checking out my back. I'm looking way over there to yonder, seeing what's next over there. I ain't even turning around to see you look at my back. Do y'all know what I'm saying? Like, they too busy. Look, gang stalking. They too busy in a group. They too busy got to be grouped up. They too busy got to be a gang of them. They too busy got to be so many of them all keeping tabs. Because they can't stand alone. So do some artwork. Do you. Do whatever makes you feel good. Because that's their personal problem. If they got a personal problem, that's their personal problem. That is not the collective's issue. I've been known my karma wasn't shit. See, this person been known. See, these gang stalkers, they know they ain't shit. They all know that each other is ain't shit. They all be talking about how each other ain't shit behind each other back. But they still need each other because they still can't stand alone. So wait. <laughs> you don't even like the birds you flock with. So y'all flock together, but y'all don't even like each other for real. And, oh, this is family member's name that I was breaking down. Family member's name, I was breaking it down, their meaning of their names. So it looks like family's involved in the gang stalking with lovers and friends. It looks like everybody wants to join. People you knew that wasn't shit. People you knew that was karmic and wasn't shit. Look how I tried to hear it and pick it up. So there's plenty of people. Look, plenty of them that wasn't shit, that you knew wasn't shit. 